recommend a different pipeline for emergency hot fixes? Um, so this is where I would recommend not. Um, okay. And that's completely context free. So keep in mind right. your own context. Um, but a, I'm a bit of an athlete, so I'm sorry for the sports reference. But if you think about um, basketball players with a free throw, this is a, a shot where they get to take it with no defense around them. Um, and they practice these time and time again to the point where they can be taking a final shot in the final game um, and know exactly how they're going about it. And they trust themselves to make that successful. And their rate of, of success on those shots is significantly higher than a, tr a typical shot during the play of the game. Um, and that's where I would say your hot fixes need to be. Um, you need to be able to run a hot fix in the middle of the night when everybody has uh, has had no sleep, you know, they're, they're coming up on 24 hours of working on this problem and they need to get a fix out. It should work so smoothly that you don't have to think about it. And if your hot fix line is different than the one you're using every day, you're at risk that something has rotted, something has changed. Um, and so that's a bit of a risk. So I think without knowing your context, I would say try to make that not necessary.